If you look up news headlines about the Canadian company Shopify, there you'll see words like explosive, boom, and pot of gold. The company is having a big year, and now one of its top execs is taking part in a new discovery series. It's called I Quit, and the series follows entrepreneurs who left their day jobs to build their own businesses. Helping them along the way are mentors, including Harley Finkelstein, the chief, uh, chief operating officer of Shopify, and Harley joins us this morning from Ottawa. Harley, great to talk to you. I hope you're doing well. Hey, Ben, great to be here. Thanks for having me. So Forbes says Shopify is seizing an $8 billion pot of gold and a report of the, on the BBC called Shopify, quote, Canada's most valuable public company. Talk to me about the company and how the pandemic has changed business for you. Yeah, so Shopify really exists to help level the playing field for entrepreneurs and small businesses. And I think one of the things that the pandemic has done is that it, it has acted as a catalyst for digitalization. So anybody that has uh, brick and mortar stores looking to move online, people that have side hustles and hobbies are looking to commercialize that. And we feel very fortunate that many of them are doing that with Shopify. Feels like the world is in a transitional phase right now. So how's Shopify going to build on the recent success to help more businesses adapt and move from this transition to a new reality? Well, that's actually the great part about the show here. Um, we think that the world is a much better place with more entrepreneurs and, frankly, more diverse entrepreneurs. Uh, the problem is most people are, are, are either scared or they're afraid of something about entrepreneurship. If they, don't ha if they haven't been exposed to other entrepreneurs, they may be reticent to do that. And if you look at all the content, the television shows that are created around the world about entrepreneurship, most of them are all about intimidation. They're all about tearing businesses down and making entrepreneurs question their decisions. Shopify is the entrepreneurship company. We are unequivocally entrepreneur obsessed. And so we want to create a TV show that inspires more people to consider entrepreneurship. That looks at not only just the journey of the entrepreneur, but their families, their friends, their community, not just the downs, and, but also the ups. And uh, we are going to be following six groups of entrepreneurs who have side hustles. And in episode one, which airs tonight, they're going to be quitting their full time jobs, including some really big jobs in Wall Street to pursue their side hustles and their and their startups. And some of those companies companies become really, really big businesses. It's, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, so the show's called I Quit. It was actually produced by Shopify's production company, Shopify Studios. Um, and, and you make a really good point because so many, we're talking about millions of people who, when, when it's time to go back to work, won't have jobs to go back to. And so that initial barrier of fear of losing that known quantity is gone for a lot of people. Do, do you think that we are on the verge of a, a new entrepreneurial explosion? Totally. We, we see that renaissance happening. What is happening right now is folks are realizing either if they've lost their jobs, they need to supplement their income to put food on the table. If they have a job, but they're looking to make a little bit of extra money, they're also looking at entrepreneurship. And so what we want to create is a movement around this entire idea that anyone can be an entrepreneur. If you have ambition, you can be an entrepreneur and you can use software like Shopify or other software to do it really, really easily. But we want to tell the stories of real entrepreneurs. We don't want to glamorize it. We want to show the hardship, the success. Um, but we want to show the entirety of it, and we think it's a really exciting opportunity to work a discovery to get that in front of millions of people. So what should entrepreneurs avoid doing in those early days? Because you've seen a lot of success stories, but I got to think you've seen a lot of people crash and burn. Yeah, so one of the things that I think most entrepreneurs get stuck in is sort of that initial trough of sorrow where they get started, it's very exciting, but then very quickly they realize how hard it is, how difficult it is. And that's the reason why perseverance becomes so damn important. If you can get through the first couple of months, you can get through some of the um, the initial hesitation, that trough of sorrow, you can build incredible successful companies. One of the things we're going to see on the show is we're going to watch newlyweds who are going to dive full time right after getting married into quitting their jobs and starting a dress company. We're going to see three best friends friends uh, at the early stage of growing a wine business that is catered to black women after seeing underrepresentation in that industry. And so I think what the show will do is it'll hopefully spark something in a lot of people that watch it to consider taking that idea they have in the shower and doing something with it. And uh, again, we think more entrepreneurs and more small businesses make the world a much better place. Okay, lastly, before we leave, the show is called I Quit. Tell me really quickly your I Quit story. So I was in Toronto, actually, in 2009. I was working as a lawyer. Um, I wasn't a very good lawyer. I didn't like it. Uh, and I went into my uh, the managing partner's office and said, I, I quit. And I, I told him I was going to go join a couple friends and help build this small company called Shopify. We were a handful of people at the time. And that was uh, just over a decade ago. And it's been uh, it's been the journey of my lifetime. And certainly I, I found my life's work through that I quit moment for myself. And I hope others uh, try to find their life's work as well through their own I quit moments. Harley, looking forward to the show. Great to talk to you. Liking the talk haircut, loving the home studio. Thanks, uh, talk to you soon. Thanks, Ben. And you can catch the premiere of I Quit tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern on Discovery. 
Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.